What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So if you can't tell by the smile on my face, I am pretty excited about this thing we're going to talk about today because one, it's new to the market and two, it's a company that I really like here in this box. So what's in the box? Show me what's in the box, right? So if you don't know about that logo, that is the Blackout Defense logo. So if you haven't seen the video I did on the Blackout Defense Trigger and then subsequently the Blackout Defense Full Quantum 2 Rifle, definitely check them out. I will leave them linked below. So I saw this company's stuff. I sought them out, got a hold of them, and after being able to test their trigger, which is phenomenal, and getting to test that rifle, I became a big fan of their product. Now, they initially were not going to do a builder set because they really wanted to control the overall quality process through the build of their rifles. Uh, that was something I kind of brought up to them, like, hey, well, you know, not every builder can build the exact rifle that somebody wants, but somebody may want your upper, lower, and handguard to put all of the little fine pieces that they want. Maybe they like a Radian safety. Maybe they want a different charging handle. Maybe they want whatever little piece it is. And that's just kind of how we are when we like to build things. We like to do things our way sometimes. We like to have it like Burger King, as they used to say like a decade ago or something, if you remember that commercial. Uh, but either way, very cool that they did come out with this. So I want to show you this builder set, show you the differences, because there are some changes in this newest iteration of their rifle, even from the Quantum Mark II that I have. They're kind of just little tiny inline upgrades or I guess advancements you could say. All right, so now that that is over, let's get deep in the Blackout Defense box here and check out this new builder set. All right, so I've already taken everything out of the box, but I just wanna show you kind of the box and how this comes. I know it's a lot to have under here. It's a lot of box, right? So you're gonna get a little instruction manual here with uh, some torque settings and of course the little press lock technology, the linear compression pads that they have. And then this is gonna how it's gonna come. So very nice on the packaging there. And that's kind of by design. They wanted everything to be top notch. So let's talk about what we get. We're gonna get the lower, upper rail, barrel nut, and then you get a absolutely sick tool <laughs> to put it together. Look at the width on that thing. Uh, when I first saw this, I was like, that seems like an expensive tool to send out to torque that barrel nut on. Uh, in fact, the armor, when I was in there, said he had put together like 400 rifles before he eventually marred this uh, post up so bad that he'd finally got a new one. So top quality stuff there. So talking about the barrel nut, pretty standard looking here. You'll see it is flat across the top. That is for a specific reason. That is actually meant to index perfectly when it's at the right torque with the upper receiver and be flat once you get to the appropriate torque spec. You'll have your choice between a 13 or a 15 inch rail. Let me address the color. So I, I have this one Cerakoted in brown. They only come in the anodized black right now. I just wanted some peanut butter in my life. So um, they're not gonna come Cerakoted like this. They may offer that in the future, but it will be a little bit more because of the Cerakote. So traditional looking rail right here, you got all of your M-lock around here. You can put M-lock attachments on here for days or whatever else you're into. So 13 or 15 depends on what you want to build. You're gonna get some red Loctite for the uh, receiver, putting that, uh, the screws in there together because it clamps together with these, which are compressed obviously with your typical Allen head screws. Put that red Loctite on there and it's going to be good to go. Now, normally the detent pins would already be, or not detent, the takedown pins would already be installed, but since I wanted it Cerakoted and I needed to show you this, I left, I had them leave them out because it's a little bit different. So let's talk about what we get here. You're gonna get these little posts right here. You're gonna get two metal posts. They'll serve a very specific purpose. You'll notice right here in the rail, you're gonna have two holes that are going to index perfectly with two holes on the upper receiver right there. Now those two metal dowels fit in there and index that rail so it can never twist. Some companies have like an insert that goes over the gas tube. That's a far better way on this rifle to do it than relying on your gas tube to be an anti-tilt uh, mechanism for your rail section. So very cool design there. Um, as far as a little bit of a difference in the springs on the back here, instead of a traditional spring and detent for your takedown pin, They've threaded it. So a lot of companies are threading a lot of these things now because it makes life a little easier, especially when you're putting them together for the first time um, or taking them apart, changing parts out. So instead of a traditional detent and then a spring going in there and then your back plate and you're kind of screwing the back plate on there and putting it in there and hoping you don't bend the spring or things go flying, 
You put the detent in there, you put the spring that they provide in there, it's a little shorter, and you screw it in there and you are good to go. Put your back plate, buffer tube, and all that stuff on there. Um, it's also thread captured here for your bolt release, uh, which is again, very cool, makes life a lot easier for you. So talking about the overall quality of this, it's got those just flat out sexy lines that they have kind of become known for. Very nice machine work everywhere around here. Very light setup as well. It's beefed up where it needs to be beefed up and it is shaved down where they can shave it down. You'll see you have a nicely flared magwell on there and you'll notice two holes in the bottom of that trigger guard. So should you decide to go with the blackout trigger, which is a legit trigger, there are two bottom adjustments and they wanted to make it a little bit easier for you to adjust those. So instead of just having the holes right there, they made them all the way through the trigger guard, which is extended and integral. So you don't have to mess around trying to get the small end of an Allen head in there. You just go straight through the bottom and you can make small adjustments. You see, you got all three positions for your safety selector. Should you be a cool guy that can do some cool NFA stuff to it. And you'll notice also that the logos just super subdued on there, laser and gray, but nothing that's really just crazy huge when it comes to the logos on it. Very cool setup, very cool design. And it comes with everything you need. So these compression press lock pads here, I've had a couple of questions about these. So a lot of companies will use a hole right here and they'll put like a, a nylon threaded screw in there. So if your receiver is loose, which these are not, these are match sets and they're extremely tight. But other companies will do that so you can screw that screw in and basically what it does is it puts pressure on the upper so they won't rattle and they'll be very tight well if you think about it what that can do is cause carrier tilt because you're pushing the upper receiver up like this and your bolt and carrier group is going back and forth into that buffer tube it can just cause some undue wear so rather than do something like that blackout defense came up with a press lock um, and like i said i don't think they need it because of how tight these are but basically you put one of those linear compression pads right in there, you close this thing for the first time and it is going to be very tough to get the pins in the first time, but it will be probably one of the most solid upper and lower receiver indexing that you're gonna feel besides something that is just crazy tight. So cool design, cool idea that they came up with and this is what we've got. So let's talk about, have I chosen parts for this? How I'm gonna build this? What's gonna go on with this thing? And of course, what's this thing going to cost us? All right, so a couple of little changes on that from even the Quantum Mark II that I have, and it's really just to make your life easier, especially with some of those detents, right? Seems to be a lot of companies have gone that direction, but overall, they're producing some really cool, really high quality stuff. Now, I don't quite know what furniture and small parts I'm gonna go with on this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna go with Bravo, maybe B5, maybe Magpul. Um, then, of course, some of those smaller parts, like maybe the, uh, you know, battle arms development, bolt release lever. I, I just don't know. I haven't figured that all out yet. So let me know in the comments, what would your choices be for this rifle? Because I know a lot of us have our little choices, those little things that we love. Like I love Radian uh, safeties, Ambi safeties. Uh, they are my favorite and that's my go-to. But I really want to know what you guys would like to put on this rifle. All right, so let's talk about the pound of flesh. What is this set gonna cost? It's gonna be your upper receiver, lower receiver, your pins are gonna be installed, your detents and that stuff's gonna be installed in there for your takedown pins, and of course, that rail. And you get a choice, between I think you can do a 13 or a 15 inch, so you can build it how you want. Uh, if you wanna do a pistol, you're gonna do a rifle, you're gonna SBR at some point. Those options are there. So the builder set as it stands in the traditional anodized, because I had this Cerakoted because I wanted some peanut butter in my life. It's $7.59. When you take into account the quality of this stuff, upper, lower pins, and you're gonna get that rail, that's a pretty good price for the quality level stuff you are dealing with. Now, yes, there are cheaper receivers and receiver sets out there, and you can build whatever you want. This is just another option. Um, if you search around for some of the blackout stuff out there, you'll see that a lot of people that have gotten it in their hands now kind of enjoy the blackout defense product, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. If you can try to get your hands on one of these, uh, they're gonna be in some major stores pretty soon. I, I don't think I can tell you which ones, but they'll be in some big stores real soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that thing. Make sure you guys check out the trigger video and that rifle video if you wanna see kind of the intricate details of the trigger and of that full rifle, because you can buy a full rifle or you can build a builder set and just do it however you want. 
Make sure you guys get subbed up, get belled up, turn those notifications down there to all on. So all of that stuff is a huge help to the channel along with leaving a comment down there. And of course, if you wanna support the channel in any way, you can use any of the affiliate links, you can check out the Patreon, all that stuff, massive support structure. Thank you to all of my Patreons. You guys get out there in the range, have some fun. Remember, it's a box of joy right here. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. I will see you guys on the next one. Deep in that box.